Hello Aquarius, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do an April update reading for you. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there. If you find that this reading is not resonating with you, please check your moon and your rising sign. Okay, we are going to start off with a message from the Mystical Wisdom Deck. I will show you the book in a second in case you're interested in purchasing this. Angels, what message do we have for Aquarius, please? Show my Aquarius friends what they need to know for the rest of April 2020. Well, I'm not really getting a card for you, Aquarius. I'm getting books. Okay, thank you, angels. <laughs> I was just going to say, come on, angels, give me the card. Peacock, raise your standards. All right. So, <clears throat> money, find a way to abundance. So that kind of makes me feel like you may be letting someone get away with something. As far as the money goes, I feel like this could be job related. You need to ask for more money or demand respect or ask for a higher position title. Um, dreams. There's something that you want. I feel like you're not getting it. Let's see. What do we got for Aquarius? Angels, please. Show me, show me, Aquarius. The rest of April 2020. What do they need to know, angels? Show them, show them. We are going to stick with the horseshoe reading. The Empress. Well, talk about a higher position. <laughs> okay, hold on. The Empress is the boss. We So that is your past. This is your present. This is your future. This is your advice. Best course of action. This is the role or attitude of others. This is your block or your obstacle. This is your final outcome should you remain on this path. Your overall energy, bottom of the deck, is the Five of Cups with the Knight of Wands reversed and the Magician reversed and the Chariot. Bye-bye, see ya. I'm out of here. See, something's not advancing and you're sad. Something's not manifesting. Are you doubting your abilities? Doubting that you deserve better? The Knight of Wands is the player card. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let me um let me just do that. So I remember what's there. Um so the Empress is in your past. I mean, great card. Libra Taurus energy. Something growing, something blooming. The Empress card actually re represents my goodness. Uh oh, I can't speak. So there must be something that you want to say. But anyway, the Empress card actually represents growth and expansion. Someone could be pregnant here. Someone could be dealing with their own mother, could be dealing with a female boss. You could have your own business. Maybe someone wants to go into business with you, but she's caring, she's nurturing. She doesn't need anybody. She's the Empress. Five of Cups. I feel like the Empress is sad about the High Priestess reversed. Once again, doubting your abilities. Thinking that you're not good enough for a higher position. I'm just getting the feeling like you're not feeling good about yourself. You are. Something brought you down here. Something somebody said or something that happened, a person that's in and out of your life, something that keeps happening over and over. The moon reversed clarity. 
seeing the light, seeing the true colors, facing your fears. Also about dreams becoming reality. Sign of Cancer and Pisces. Hmm. Your advice, best course of action, is the Six of Cups, sign of Scorpio. So your advice is to give love, generosity, caring. Someone here is either like a nurse or works with children or some type of a spiritual guidance counselor or something like that with the high priestess and the moon. I feel like somebody went into their own business here and it just maybe didn't take off as expected. You're not making enough money and you don't know what to do. But I feel like you're helping people. I feel like somebody's saying, Did I, was I too impulsive? Did I make a bad decision? I'm not good enough for this. There's so much caring, giving, and loving. And, you know, the peacock talks about um, opening your, your feathers for everyone to see. Let yourself shine. Four of cups, sign of cancer. So that's being sad and wanting something more. It's also about rejection. It's like this other person is like looking at you and they see that you're sad. Someone's having financial difficulty. I'm hearing money's the problem, money's the problem. I mean, that could be for everybody right now. Someone sees that you're upset. I feel like you need some help. And they're telling you to get help. There's someone that wants to help you. What's in your block or your obstacle? The emperor reversed. Hmm, well, that's a nice obstacle. Husband, boss, father energy. I just feel like this person is not being supportive. Maybe cold. Maybe saying like, you know, I told you you shouldn't have did that. Stubborn and unwilling to change. My gosh, I just had to like look out my window for a second because... It is like so windy out there. I thought there was a tornado in my yard or something. My goodness. That's crazy. All right. Sorry for the interruption, guys. <laughs> Maybe a storm is blowing in Aquarius. Be prepared because it's nasty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The final outcome is the Six of Wands. Public recognition, being noticed, victory, success, being in the spotlight. So your problem is this over here. This person, this emperor in the challenge position is just like, he's just not agreeing with whatever you did. It's like, whatever he's saying is making you sad, making you feel like you're not good enough, making you feel like you made a bad decision. But this is about winning a battle. Aquarius. I had this yesterday in somebody's reading too. The Empress and the Emperor together and the Empress was going to win this battle. <laughs> she was going to get what she wants. I don't remember what sign it was. Sorry. It's just funny how the same story comes up repetitively. I feel like you are good enough with a little bit of the money card is Determination, effort brings, determination and effort brings success. So I remember reading that in that book. I, I need to reread that book again because it's been a while, but I used to know those cards really well. Um, so you're having some financial difficulties. You have a husband, boss, father energy who's being a little bit of a pain in the butt about a decision that you made. But I just keep getting this feeling like that you want to care for people, you want to help people. You're sad because you're stuck because this person is stubborn and won't change their mind about something. Hmm. Let's pull a few mystic moons. Let's see if I can get a little bit more information about this. 
pause. You know, well, I can see that. There's some stuck energy here. Does somebody want to quit a job? Yep, fighting with yourself about something. You definitely do not feel that you're qualified, that you're good enough, you won't be successful. You're thinking about it. We're going to take one more. I don't know. I can't do that. It's not going to work. But it's it seems like it's mostly because of what someone else is saying. It doesn't seem like it's because... It's true. Separation. Barrier. Tribe. Forgiveness. So your soul tribe is pushing you to do something. Are you blocking your tribe? Do you want to separate from your job and go out on your own? You're in deep thought, fighting with yourself about separating from something, but you have a block. There's a man here who is in the way of something happening. You want to go, chariot. That's my bye-bye, see you, I'm out of here. I don't feel like this is a relationship splitting up. If it is, these two people are in separation and only on pause. This relationship isn't over. I just wanted to point that out that if you have a stubborn person here who's not showing any emotion, that's the problem. This is something that has happened over and over. You even got the two of cups under there as well. If this is a relationship that somebody's in, this is going to, there's going to be forgiveness and we're going to work this out because separation isn't the end. It's just, we're on pause. We're on break right now. But I'm getting like this other thing, like somebody's out of work, probably due to what's going on in the world. They're having money trouble. But their creative ability or something kicked in while they were home. And now they're thinking about doing it full time because they like what they're doing and people like them. That's very important to say. And this emperor, so this person went to this emperor and said, hey, this is what I think I'm going to do. And the emperor said, that's not a good idea. You're being too impulsive. You're being foolish. And then that made you sad. Hmm. I'm going to pull a couple of Kipper cards. I don't like to get, make my readings too, um, you know, too personal, I guess is the word. But, but there's a story here. There's a story here. This could be a nurse. who wants to change jobs. I'm getting working with children. All right, so now we got main female. Yes, you're having financial difficulties. That keeps coming up with this business that you started at home. Courthouse is legal documents. Thinking about courthouse adjudication. Uh, somebody waiting for the outcome of a court case here. Decision about making something legal. Wow, Aquarius. Somebody that you're separated from and not speaking to, probably a family member, is in financial trouble, possibly financial legal trouble. They got in trouble with the law because they just won't follow the rules. Anyway, I am getting with the courthouse, the family room, and the poverty, and the main female, I am getting a home-based business here that is struggling. Maybe somebody did make it legal. Maybe somebody worked for the government, and now they're thinking about going back to work. But I am getting that woman and that child again. I saw that like three different times. Whatever this is, you got the six of wands as your final outcome. You're going to be fine. You're going to get the help you need. You're going to get the victory, the success. There's, there needs to be effort and determination. 
to come out of whatever this problem is. I am going to leave that there, Aquarius, because I'm starting to see too many stories and it's just going to cause too much confusion. So thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.